Hmm. I mean, I obviously can't tell you what to do. But I thought we were beyond this phase. I mean, really? Chasing after a straight boy? We're better than this. Well, maybe I'm just better than this. I'm not that good with math, but if you carry the... Yeah, I think that makes me better than you. Okay. In this specific instance, yes, maybe you are better than me. Oh my god, that feels so good. Say it again, Cameron. I want to hear you say it again. I hate you. No, you misunderstood. I meant the part about me being better than you. That's what I want to hear. Can we focus on me for one second? This is literally going to be the hardest thing I've ever done, but... Yes. Talk. About... Not me. I'm ready. I think. He's never been with a guy before. And... It makes okay, it... let me stop you. When did you come out? You know the answer to that. Just say it. I was 15. Yes, you were 15. And when exactly did you get your shit together? Wait, let me answer that. You still haven't. So, 11 years after you accept yourself for who you are and all that bullshit, you still don't have a clue what you're doing when it comes to, well, I don't want to say love, but love. You still don't have a clue what you're doing when it comes to relationships. 11 years later. So even if this guy comes out yesterday, he's still got 11 years until he gets to the point in his sexual life that you're at now, which again, isn't good. So no matter what, he's always gonna be 11 years behind you. Wouldn't you rather just drink? Here's the thing, Billy. He has his shit together. It's like he's 11 years ahead of us, even if he is just coming out. It makes it really intense. I mean, is it supposed to be this intense? Have you used that line before? Just like the cadence of your voice. It sounds like you've said that before. Actually, yes. Lately, it's all I have been doing is using this line because that's how it feels. Although I wouldn't expect you to know how that feels because you don't feel anything. Everything's a joke to you. Ouch. Okay. What I think, honestly, you've been waiting for a big change to happen in your life for so long that you're willing to take any opportunity to be a part of a change, even if it isn't yours. And this isn't your change, Cameron. You may be long overdue for one, but this one isn't yours. Well, I happen to be in it, so clearly it is mine. There's no hope for you. Sorry. You're incredibly manipulative. You know that? I know. And you care about nobody but yourself. Well, that's true. But don't we all? Hey, Rocky Point. This weekend. Jared, Rufus, the whole gang. You should come. It'll do you some good. Mm. Suit yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to quit. It's working. Great. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Damn. All right. Forgot you're not interested anymore because you're in a relationship. Give me a freaking break. You can take the whore out of the whorehouse, Cameron, but you can't take the whorehouse out of the whore. So what do you guys think? I give it another month. No more than that. No, I think this one's got a little bit of staying power. I mean, he has broken the mold a bit. Mr. I have too much self-esteem to date a straight guy. <laughs> I'd actually give this one a couple months. I mean, definitely no more than that. Hmm. No, they're beyond dating. They're living together now. Are you living together? They haven't exactly rented the U-Haul yet, but they are spending every night together. Oh, Here comes your little crude friend to the rescue. 
How cute. Must be scary all by yourself in the closet, Michael. Have another drink, Billy. Mm. What a great idea. You really do know me. Seriously, let's put some money up. They're basically living together already. I'm giving it another month. No more than that. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Cam, he's just messing with you, man. Why are you so sensitive these days? Damn. You're a dick, Billy. <laughs> I'm right. Am I not right? Seriously, I want to hear you say it. Billy, you're right. Just like always. I'm just being honest. At some point, the honeymoon's going to be over. Probably sooner than later. As I said, you can take the whore out of the whorehouse, but you can't take the whorehouse out of the whore. I don't know why you hang out with me. Seriously. I came because they told me you were coming. Besides, I haven't seen you in months, so... Sorry. It's alright. I get it. But why did you come anyway? I thought it'd be nice to see Jared and Rufus. It's been a while. I don't know. I guess I'm trying to get some sort of normalcy back in my life. <laughs> yeah, if you can call that normal. I feel like my whole world's been turned upside down. You're not a whore, Cameron. You've had some really hot guys chase you down. That doesn't make you a whore. That just makes you a healthy guy in his 20s. I don't have the words for it, Michael, but it feels different this time. And it's not going to be me leaving him like I always do. Yet I seem to be doing everything in my power to get him to leave me. It's freaking crazy. It's not crazy. It's normal. Oh, come on. How can this be normal? It is when it's the real deal, Cameron. I mean, infatuation burns bright and quick. I mean, love's a whole different world, especially when passion's involved. And those that have never experienced it. I have a clue. Billy's jealous. He's a not so old bitter queen. And he's wrong. Dead wrong. Derek doesn't seem to be afraid. At all. Trust me, he is. He's probably just managing it better. He's in therapy, right? Therapy, yes. I hate therapy. It never works for me. No offense. Derek's been trying to get me to go with him. You should probably check it out, Cam. Okay, we'll come see you. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, that wouldn't be completely unprofessional. No, it's better if you see someone you don't know. Someone who has some sort of objectivity. Someone you can be completely honest with. <sighs> you should go check it out, Cam. I mean, work it out before you blow it. I do know you're most capable of blowing it. Well, that's great. Thank you. That's very reassuring. I, I, you know what I mean. I don't mean 